Okay, in this video, we're going to um, look at uh, the different ways that you can arrange letters uh, that are in a word. Um, the, the most basic way to arrange letters, so for instance, if you took a word like many, this is just a, a, a permutation problem. How many different ways can I arrange the letters in the word many? Because you've got four options for the first letter, right, any of the four letters, but once you've already chosen one, you only have three for the next and then two for the third letter, and then once you've already picked the first three letters, there's only one option for that last letter. So it'll be four, four times three times two times one, which would be 24 different ways that you could rearrange the letters, many, to form new words. If you're talking about uh, a word like example one that uses the word toss, things get a little bit different. And the reason why is you just can't do the four permute um, four, right? You can't just do four times three times two times one. And the reason why is this counts all the different arrangements of these letters as if these two S's were separate. So for instance, maybe we'd call them S1 and S2. And so that would say that this is different than this. And so what turns out, any combination of letters, so like for instance, this would be one way to do the letters. Well, it, it's actually going to count because using just a permutation treats all the letters as separate letters instead of having some being repeats. It would count it like that. So it actually turns out that every time you do a problem like this, uh, if there are two letters, then you actually are overcounting by a uh, multiple of two. Right? You're, you're, you're actually counting twice as many as you need because every time you get a TOSS, you're actually counting that letter that twice for the two different uh, combinations of the S's. So what we have to do is we have to divide half of those away. And so we end up with the 24 on the top divided by 2. And so there are actually 12 ways to, to take the words from letters from toss and create new, new words. Okay. Um, if you think about tosses, throwing in an extra S, well, now that even gets more confusing because the question is, you know, it would be like this. If we had three different S's, how many different ways can I rearrange those three S's and just the word tosses itself? Well, it turns out is, how many different ways can I just rearrange those three letters as if the three S's were different? Well, that's just going to be three factorial. So actually what you're going to do is you do the six factorial for the permutation of those six as if they were all different. And if you treated them all different, then you're overcounting by a factor of three factorial. Because that's every time you, you, you get tosses, you would actually get it six different times. But we only want it once because there's only one way to spell the word tosses. There aren't six different ways to spell tosses because all those S's are the same. And so it actually leads us to this formula, which is going to give us six times five times four times three times two times one over 3 times 2 times 1, so that, that's an easy one, those all just cancel out. And so there's actually only 120 ways to uh, rearrange the letters in the word tosses. And it leads to a formula, and the formula is um, always going to be uh, the number of letters factorial, like in this case there are six letters, so it's six factorial, and then it's going to be over how many of each letter there is. So for instance, it would be T factorial, O factorial, E factorial, S factorial. But all of these, the T, the O, and the E, since there's only one, one factorial just equals one, so we can just ignore those. So all we're really dividing by are the repeats. Okay, so if you got multiple repeats, you have to divide by each one of those factorial. That leads us to one of the classic problems in, in um, counting. And that is how many different ways, uh, different arrangements of the letters of the word Mississippi. Well, we're using that formula I just showed you. Mississippi is an 11-letter word, and so you're going to do 11 factorial. Then you have to divide by the factorials of the repeats. Well, there are four S's in Mississippi, so you do four factorial. There are four I's, so you have to do four factorial again. And then there are two P's, so you have to do two factorial. The M, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about because there's only one of those and one factorial is just one and dividing by one doesn't change anything. So now I need to evaluate this. Um, I, I can immediately get rid of one of the four factorials by taking off the last 
four uh, numbers of 11 factorial, but that still leaves me with four, and I'm going to leave the ones off because they're irrelevant to this. Four times three times two times one, we're just going to leave that off, and then two times one. And then I'm just going to go through and start canceling things out. I see the four and the two cancel out the eight. The three and the two are going to cancel out the seven, and so that leaves me with just 11 times 10 times 9 times 7 times 5. And there are, if you multiply those together, that's going to show you that there are 34,650 ways to rearrange the letters Mississippi into new words. Example 4 is a very similar problem, except that it, it, it has some restrictions on what this word can look like. And that is it has to begin and end with an I. Well, if that's the case, what we could actually do is just pull out two of the I's, put them as the um, first and the last letter, and then consider what we have inside. What we have inside is a, um, there are nine letters left, so we're going to do nine factorial. There are still four S's, so we got to do four factorial. Instead of there being four I's, I've taken two of those I's and I've put them in the first and the last spot, and so I've only got two I's left, so I've got to do fa two factorial for that, and then also two factorial for my P's. So if it ever gives you something specific, for instance, if it says start with a vowel or start with two I's, or maybe begin and end with the same letter, right, you could do the same thing with P's or S's, then you have to go through and you have to think about what, what, what happens once you remove those letters. Okay, sometimes you have to do multiple cases, like for instance, if I said how many ways could uh, Mississippi begin or end with the same letter, you would do this one with the I's, you'd do another one with the uh, beginning and ending with S's, and then another one beginning and ending with P's. And the insides might be different on each one of those. But for this particular problem, we just have to evaluate this. Again, I can leave off the 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and that's just canceling out that 4 factorial. 2 factorial is just 2, so I've got a 2 and a 2 on the bottom. I can cancel those that 2 times 2 out of the 8, and just left with 2, and so it's going to be 9 times 2 times 7 times 6 times 5, which is going to give you 3,700. And 80. So there are 3,780 words that can be created with Mississippi that begin and end with an I.